CPS announcing today its plans for the return to in-person instruction for elementary school students. But administrators will ultimately decide who's offered one of the limited seats. Delia Gonsalves is live in Southeast with what parents need to know right now. Hi, D. Hi, my phone was ringing off the hook and texts were coming in by parents, teachers, lots of folks with a lot of questions. So hopefully we can uh, clear the air a bit. So there was no talk of a hybrid option as we suspected there was going to be. So here is the plan. The plan calls for five days of live in person instruction or virtual learning inside the school building with staff support. We're told there are 14,000 seats available for that virtual at school option 7,000 seats for live in person instruction. Now here how it's here's how it's going to work. Principals were told we'll use the lottery system to decide who gets what. So parents, your choice is pretty slim. You get that call from your principal, you either take the offer or you leave it and continue virtual learning at home. My youngest daughter is dying to see her friends. Ayanna Smith knows in-person instruction is best for her first grader, but she will not be sending the six-year-old back for term two, even though her middle schooler is learning in person at a small D.C. charter school. Younger children are just not aware of their surroundings. Uh, even when we have playdates now, uh, we have to remind the younger kids to keep their mask up. Now, the middle schoolers, they're able to uh, follow all of the protocol. Learning at home is not working for every student. DCPS Chancellor Lewis Fairby rolling out the school system's plan for pre-K three through fifth graders. The options continued virtual learning at home, virtual learning in school with support or live in person instruction. We are also estimating five to 11 students per classroom. That number is lower for our pre-K-3 and pre-K-4 classes and also our special education self-contained classroom. The chancellor outlined that the return to school will be staggered pre-K through first grade week of November 16th, second through fifth grade week of November 30th. There will be staggered arrivals, dismissals, recess, lunch and bathroom assignments temperature checks and health screenings upon arrival. The schedule is five days a week with half day Wednesdays. DCPS released this timeline to show they will have schools COVID ready and principals prepared by November 6th. Keep students safe. But Liz Davis, president of the Washington Teachers Union, says she did not see evidence of any safety upgrades during her recent visit to a few schools. The union told teachers not to sign a return to work survey until DCPS satisfies the union in a statement saying their secrecy is a major part of our concern. And if a staff member does not complete the survey, the assumption is that they are available and ready to work in person. We also learned today that the chancellor extended that teacher survey deadline into close of business tomorrow. He also says they need about 2,400 teachers to pull off this in-person plan. So. Here's the question. What will DCPS do if they don't get that kind of teacher turnout? I'll have that answer plus reaction from a special education teacher coming up new at six. For now, we're live in Southeast. Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people just crossing their fingers, hoping that, that this can work out and they can still move forward. Delia, thank you.